How is the wolf act doing today? In today's video, we're going to go over how to make you guys some stubs through investments. Before we get started, I do have one confession. I'm actually an accountant by day. I'm not a full-time YouTube content creator at this point, so I'm big on numbers. <laughs> Luckily for me and now you, numbers are a big part of Major League Baseball. And using statistics and numbers, I've come up with 16 different players that you guys should consider investing. For your reference, I put these in a Google Doc, which the link will be down in the description so you can check that out and pick these guys up at your own pace. And just so you guys know, I have some skin in the game. I've actually invested all 400K of my stubs in these players. I'm showing a screenshot now of my 400K and now what I have after that. Just so you guys know that I'm also invested in the players I'll be talking about in this video. I'm actually really excited to see how many stubs we make by investing this 400K in these players. Tomorrow we'll actually be able to test out how well we did right off the bat. That'll be super exciting. I'm hoping to stream here sometime this weekend, so be on a lookout for that. And I'll report back on how many stubs I made. Again, we have 400k invested. We should at least get 500, 600k back. I have no doubt about that. We might even push 7 to 800k. We will see. That'd be awesome. Super great way to make stubs through using your stubs. Okay guys, here we are at the spreadsheet. Just a friendly reminder, if this video does help you out, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel get discovered and helps more people uh, find my content. So I really would appreciate it. Be sure to ring that bell so you never miss another tip video here on the channel. So to be clear, all 16 of these players I feel are worth investing in. Now that's not to say that they're all 16 are going to come true. Using an investment term, I think diversifying your portfolio is definitely a good strategy when investing in MLB the show cards. So to give you guys the lay of the land, the gold ones, the five that I highlighted gold are basically my gold standard. These are, if I had a paid for subscription, these would be the cards that I would be telling you, go absolutely get as many of these cards as you can. That's not to say, again, that you shouldn't get the other ones on this list, but those would be my top five, my prime, cream of the creme, that tier. Now, the three that are labeled green are basically your high flyers. They're, they're, they're lower risk, high reward type of players, if you will, but they only have a small chance of paying out. I should say a smaller chance of paying out. It's not tiny because otherwise I wouldn't bother. Any card has a tiny chance of paying out big, but personally, these are the three cards that I'm looking at, rolling the dice on and hoping for a big return. But to be frank, you guys can read, so I'm not gonna go card by card on this list and siphon out what exactly I meant by the comments. Baseball is a numbers game, so I basically did the legwork for you here. Just read the comment. I would strongly suggest also doing your own homework on these players. What I mean by that is the MLB Live Series card should reflect how the player is doing in real life. That's kind of the point of having an MLB Live Series card. So go ahead and do your homework. Pull up the player in the MLB show reference and then go ahead and compare it to the MLB show card. And essentially, if there's a big difference, those are the cards that are typically upgraded or downgraded based on if they're doing better or worse than their current cards stat indicates. But that's about it for this video. Go ahead and check down in the description the link for this spreadsheet. You guys can pull it up and take a look at it. And basically, hopefully you guys use it to make some stubs. Again, I'm not going to go line by line explaining why I rated every player like I did. I think I have a pretty good track record and statistically pretty inclined numbers based. So take it for what it's worth. Do your own homework. Find some that aren't on this list because inherently if a lot of people see this video, which I'm hoping not, it is the night before. Maybe some of you guys are looking for this content. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great night. See you in the next video.